What is up, guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling, and we are doing another WWE fantasy booking video. This time, recommended by viewer Grant Williams. So go and check him out. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a WWE Drew McIntyre World Championship fantasy booking. Let's get right into it. Okay, so starting things off, we need a way to get Drew McIntyre to face a world champion at WrestleMania. That's my main goal here. But we're not going to have him win the Rumble because I personally feel that it's going to be someone like Roman Reigns or someone that's going to face The Fiend at WrestleMania. And obviously, we want Drew to face Brock at WrestleMania. So, we're going to have an Elimination Chamber match in which Drew McIntyre faces AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Ricochet himself obviously in the match, Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley. So that's a pretty interesting um, mix of wrestlers in the Elimination Chamber. Obviously, Drew goes on and wins. So the next night on Raw, Drew's like, you know, I'm facing Brock at WrestleMania. Uh, I'm calling you out right now, beast. Come at me. And um, basically, Randy Orton comes out. So Randy comes out and is basically like to Drew. Obviously, these two pretty similar build, uh, similar height. He's like, I've got a mutual respect for you, McIntyre, but you don't know what you're getting yourself into here. This beast absolutely battered me. He broke my skull at Summer Sun 2016, and he's going to do the same to you if you keep egging him on. But Drew's like not taking no for an answer. He headbutts Randy Orton, leading us into a match where Drew McIntyre beats the Viper 1, 2, 3. So the next week on Raw, Drew once again calls out Brock Lesnar to no avail. This time... Bobby Lashley comes out. Now, obviously, the Rusev, Lana, Lashley storyline has ended at this point. And Lashley's sort of, not in the main event, but he's sort of, you know, trying to build himself back up again. And it basically comes down to Lashley turning around and saying, breaking kayfabe, when I was re-signed by WWE, I was promised a match against Brock Lesnar. That is yet to happen. So, Drew, I want a match against Brock for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. So, at Fastlane, I'm challenging you to put your spot on the line against me, and I will beat you. Drew, obviously not one to back down from a challenge, willingly accepts, and goes on to beat Bobby at Fastlane, once again retaining his role as number one contender. So, the next night on Raw, once again, we're only a couple weeks away from WrestleMania now, still no sign of Brock. Drew calls out Paul Heyman instead. So we're having a Samoa Joe situation here where, you know, Drew's in his face, in Heyman's face, and he's sort of, you know, having a go. Um, and in the end, it ends with Drew absolutely pummeling Paul Heyman with a Claymore kick and just beating him down senseless. So that writes Paul Heyman off TV. This is going to be the first time in a long time Brock is without a Heyman. So the next week on Raw... We are literally a week away from WrestleMania. Still no sign of the WWE Champion anywhere. Drew once again comes out, has his microphone and says, I want Brock Lesnar. Give me Brock Lesnar. And he basically, you know, he's showing the replay of what happened the week before on Raw until you hear Brock's music. Brock sprints down to the ring and we have a 2012 John Cena, Brock Lesnar kind of brawl. These two pummeling each other. The whole roster comes out to try and break it up. But it ends with both men getting dragged away. So WrestleMania comes around. Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, this is a short video. But yeah, here we go. Lesnar versus McIntyre. McIntyre's throwing everything he's got at Brock. Brock's throwing everything he's got at McIntyre. But unfortunately, two F5s later, one, two, three. Brock Lesnar is still your WWE champion. And uh, yeah, so everyone's a bit in shock, really. They're all like, wow, we, we weren't expecting that. We thought that after the bill, Drew was going to dethrone him. But that's not what happened. So Drew McIntyre is written off TV as well after this. Uh, Brock can go on and defend the championship at little, like, you know, at little small pay-per-views. It doesn't matter. He's not going to have a significant feud. And then it's money in the bank time once again in literally two months after WrestleMania. So Drew isn't seen until money in the bank. The match consists of Bobby Lashley, Buddy Murphy, Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Jeff Hardy, King Corbin, Ricochet and The Miz. We've got an eight-man ladder match for the Money in the Bank briefcase. The Miz, unfortunately, 
gets injured in a match, you know, kayfabe injured, on Raw the week before Money in the Bank. So at the start of the Money in the Bank ladder match, Mrs. Music plays nothing. So everyone's a bit like, okay, what's going on here? Then we have Triple H come out and say, look, ladies and gentlemen, The Miz has not been medically cleared to compete, unfortunately. However, I do think that you guys will be happy with my replacement. Triple H steps to the side, McIntyre's music hits. Drew comes out to a big pop from the crowd, obviously not seen since his loss at WrestleMania. McIntyre comes out, beats up everyone and wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. So for the next few weeks, Drew's building up his stock again, facing guys like, obviously, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton on Raw over the weeks, and is beating each and every one of them clean. We're making him look like a monster once again. Until, at the end of one of his matches, Brock comes out with a steel chair and pummels him. He absolutely batters Drew McIntyre, f 5 in him on the chair. So, after that, everyone's like, oh God, Drew's been beaten up again, but no. As Lesnar's walking to the top of the ramp, Drew McIntyre starts to get up. He makes eye contact with Brock and Raw goes off the air. Obviously showing, you know, you're not going to put me down this time, Lesnar. So that happens. And then anyway, Brock returns, obviously, then and batters him, hits him with the, ch the chair, hits him with an F5. And Drew Gabe basically gets up. So that's that. Then Drew calls Brock out the next week. And these two have a face-to-face -face for the first time. These two have never stood face-to-face -face, uh, and not fought. So they're standing there. And Drew's cutting a promo. He's being really calm about it all. And he's saying, Brock Lesnar, I'm telling you now, at SummerSlam, I'm cashing in my Money in the Bank briefcase on you. Be ready. So we're thinking, okay, this that's that. And then uh, Brock Lesnar tries to attack Drew McIntyre once again. It doesn't work. Drew bounces off the ropes. Claymore kick straight to the face. Lays out the beast. And Brock Lesnar's selling it. It's not like one of their moves where Brock takes it and gets straight back up to his feet. Brock's laying on the floor like, ow, that really hurt. So anyway, it's the day of SummerSlam, finally. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, this match it has... Pretty much if they do it on TV. I hope they do. My builds, you know, I can only build so much sitting here in my bedroom. But it, hopefully it's got the big, you know, um, the highlights about it. Hopefully it's the big money match that everyone wants to see. So we've got it. And it's going to be in the main event of the pay-per-view. So Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. This time, Drew McIntyre, they have a massive, massive brawl of a match. Uh, Drew's using all his old moves. He's hitting a future shock DDT. Uh, Brock Lesnar's, you know, doing whatever he can. He's trying to use Germans, but Drew's blocking them. And it's literally just going to be a big fight. And it will be incredible until Drew McIntyre hits one Claymore kick. Lesnar's down. He's sort of rolling around. Drew goes back to the corner, bang, second Claymore kick, cover one, two, three, Drew, Drew McIntyre is the new WWE Champion. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that was my fantasy booking of a Drew McIntyre World Championship win. I do hope you enjoyed, if you did, be sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling, you guys have been awesome, stay tuned for more wrestling content and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.